Let's get into it, guys. We got a best of five between FH and True Whale. We're already in the pre-ban phase here. Let's see how well they know each other. We know that True Whale's done his homework because he's done some very educated pre-bans, it seems, in the matches prior. Yeah, let's see what FH is going to be uh, uh, pre-banning for True Whale. He's got so many things to have to worry about. And I can't remember who had the Veronica, but I do believe FH had the Veronica, and that's probably going to be the number one pre-ban coming out for True Whale. And it is! That Dr. Mush is going to get the ban, and of course the Veronica is going to get the ban. Great call. And we saw Veronica appear on that balance patch too, right at the top, if I remember correctly, uh, though admittedly her change is still, she still in essence does what she wants to do. She's going to strip at the opener and she's going to put everybody on cooldown, Joe, though, to uh, the level of efficiency she did before. Maybe not. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But you can clearly see that this unit is still a lot of trouble and nobody wants to have to deal with it. So it justifies the pre-ban on that Veronica. And of course, first pick's going to be coming out with the Oliver here. And it looks like Truel's going to take a different route, not taking that more slash water Ryu and going with the Shizuka Masha here. Hmm, we're going to have to see what he's planning on bringing in these third and fourth slots because bringing Shizuka into reset on the table is kind of like a tall order already. So we'll see what he has to back up these first two picks. And obviously FH with the Miles and the Gianna. We've seen how fast that Gianna is already, huh, Stoic? Yeah, exactly. We've seen this unit. We know it's going to be very, very fast. I do believe that Shizuka uh, is in result of taking it away from FH here. So we'll see how it happens. As you said, as we progress more into this draft here, Nana and Ragal is going to be coming out for True Will. And we've got FH that's going to wrap up his draft here after seeing those two units come out. Yeah, let's see. He's taking his time to think. These are the last two he gets. This is going to be a big, it's going to be a big deal. He That's seems pretty well set up. Oh, I was just going to say, I hope he brings one more form of reset, Stoic. Yeah, Chung Pung's coming out here, and I think that's kind of what you have to bring. Oliver Chung Pung almost feels like a necessity to keep a Shizuka back. Shizuka is able to just, uh, it's always built on violence, so it's going to proc. It's going to use that second skill on itself, on other units, and just like, uh, uh, it, out, of, out of nowhere, you're going to see that third skill pop up with the Shizuka. It just happens way too fast here. So here's True Will bringing a very aggressive unit. Now, this is a True Will. Uh, uh, that I do enjoy. Uh, uh, I, I like to see this side of True Will a lot. He's got the Nana and he's got great options to get orbs on this side of the field. And that's a Masha and Nasha bringing a lot of damage to the field here. Yeah, Narsha becoming really a True Whale staple uh, from Legend Tournaments past. Uh, it's one of my favorite monsters to see him bring. Great ban actually from FH, getting rid of that Nana because like you, like you said, Stoic, True Will's strategy revolves around getting those soul stones now. We see him trying to lock down those early kills with Amasha and her light sister, Narsha. Well, FH has the speed lead. He has first turn. Let's see what happens, guys. We get into our very first match with True Will and FH. FH should be kicking us off here with the Miles. We are in the finals for everybody watching. Huge res coming from Shizuka right off the bat. So he's going to have to work a little bit harder to get that immunity off of her before he can reset her. But he's got a couple more chances coming up here. Ooh, both players are going to be proccing on their very first turns here. We have the Miles and now the Masha is going to be proccing. He's thinking about a little bit of poke damage coming out here. Narsha looking to bring a little bit of damage herself here. Let's see if he chooses to go after uh, the... Um, goes right mm. after the Dominic here. Almost removes this unit from the field. Huge damage on the Dominic. That's a, a great threat assessment. Want to get rid of what's going to be bothering you in the long term, too. Uh, this is a great choice from True Well. Nice threat assessment. He is going to go with this all things nature, get his immunity and shields right back up. And of course, that unit's going to violent proc. He's got that skill, too. He could place on himself to help keep up with some cooldowns here. But it looked like he went for the poke damage top of the Dominic. Dominic does stay alive here. He is going to heal up just a little bit, though. Look at how huge that opening res on the Shizuka was, Stoic. Now it's just been so hard for FH to find an opening to get rid of Shizuka, reset her, whatever you need to do to get her off the table. And both units, both players have been procking so much already. None of these procs are really that big. Both players have been procking so much. It really <laughs> so is much. crazy. Like Everyone's going back and forth. So right now it's like, it, it, it's hand in hand. You proc, you proc, you proc, you proc. They're going back and forth right now. And now True Whale's going to double proc. I mean, there's, and now the there's double a lot proc. of violence happening right now. But like you were saying, it's like the, the procs are not where the kills are happening, especially for True Whale, because it's off element, right? You know, 
Narsha sets up the defense break. Masha gets the proc, but it's like it's on water. So what can we do here? <laughs> Some yeah, chip really damage. is crazy right now. You can see more poke damage coming into this Miles. Trula wants to remove this unit from the field. That's going to help keep his Narsha and his Masha alive here. And I think this is definitely going to be it for the Miles. I think he has to dump this unit as soon as possible. Does finish mm -hmm. off that unit. No additional turns coming out this time, though, except for Oliver. <laughs> Yeah, uh, FH is right to just kind of play it out, but really the Miles was the last hope for this game to go in FH's direction because, I mean, Oliver is not going to scale quite as well into a Masha as a Miles would. Whew. There's that damage, man. True Will brings such aggressive units, and that's got to be it for the Chungus. Ah. Chungus, is <laughs> Chungus. Chungus is going down here, and there you have it, True Will! Taking round one away from FH. <laughs> I... I... If I, if I had to use it, a, a word for that game, Stoic, I think it would be expedited. It felt so fast. Like you said, with both of the players getting the additional turns, uh, the kills happening off of them, but still, it just really expedited and made that the pace of that game feel like it was super fast. Yeah, definitely fast. That's aggressive play. That's exactly what that was. It was so much aggressive play, not just coming out of True Will, but we had some aggressive play coming out of FH as well, but that's the result, man, of those two uh, uh, beast riders. Those Beast Riders provide so much damage onto the field, and it would have been even worse, in my opinion, when it comes to having that Nana on the field, and I feel like that really justifies banning out that Nana, but at the same time, like, what if you let the Nana in? Do you think you would have been able to stay alive and, uh, 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 you know, get through all those orbs on the Nana? But if you think back, like, just Narsha put out too much damage, man. Dominic dropped almost immediately, and we had Masha capitalizing on it as well. Like, it was pretty crazy. It was a very, very good draft. It was a good Nana draft coming out of True Whale here. It was. There was just so much pressure from the Beast Riders, though. I would have liked to see the game under two different circumstances. One being a ban on the Narsha instead of the Nana to just work the way through the Soul Stones, and the other would be if Shizuka didn't resist that opening immunity. But what are we doing? I'm still talking about a game in the past. We're in round two right now. The pre-bans have gone out, and now Ragdoll and Shizuka will not be seen in this round start. Yeah, that Ragdoll's getting banned out here, and now that uh, FH has that Veronica in his hands, we're going to see a big turn one play coming out of uh, 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 FH, and is going to be taking a 33 speed lead away from him. We should definitely be seeing that more, I think, coming out of FH. Not! I thought this is very mm. surprising when I saw that Ragdoll banned out here. I was ex definitely expecting a more turn one draft coming out of FH. He has the Veronica, and it looks like it's going to be a change of pace, and it might be because he doesn't have the Oliver, potentially? Maybe he's less confident in his ability to take that turn one without the 33% speed lead. Who's to say? I'm, I'm speculating at this point, but this is a different play style that we're seeing from FH uh, than rounds previously. Going for more of a turn two approach, Sans the Masha, uh, bringing Dominic, and you will know her name, Stoic. It's Gyo. Uh, you will know her name. That is Gyo. Looks like she's not locked in just yet, but she is currently on the field. FH probably thinking about that one unit does lock in the Gio. Gio does make it through. True Will with a much faster team right now, though. Oh, yeah, and Gio kind of rose in popularity in response to Oliver. Uh, it seemed like the karma that she's able to put so frequently down is just a great response to him and his uh, abuse of all those skills. Ooh, very interesting. We're going to see a free-to-play unit coming out of True Will here. Not often you guys get to see that, but we get a Tessarian being drafted by True Will, and, of course, a Tian Lang, a very, very good unit here into... Uh, 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 FH's draft. Whoa! The Veronica playing- Whoa, whoa. I just got whiplash from that last pick there, Stoic. This is playing opposite ends um, of the pick spec- or the, the turn spectrum here, it feels like. It feels like he's simultaneously going for a bruiser, like, second second turn comp, while also maybe trying to compete for turn one with Veronica. Is yeah, I believe he's banning the out the lead? Oliver now, though. He yeah. wants to remove the speed lead from the field, and that's banned. why he went with the, uh, the Veronica. So let's see if True Will's gonna read into that, because I believe that's what's happening here. I think you're right. That's at least what it felt like to me. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Nailed it. <laughs> You nailed it. Awesome. Great job. <laughs> Virtual high five. We did it. We called the bands. All right, we'll see what happens, guys. We've got bands locked in here. Leader skills going to be chosen. We've got an HP lead and defense lead on the side of True Will. And we're going to get into our second match with True Will and FH. Let's see how this one's going to be playing out because both players here have uh, some middle, mid distance uh, speeds here. Wow. With no speed leads out, we are just. We are just doing raw speed checks right now. Miles taking turn one and a big opening stun on the Masha early. Here comes a Dragon's Dance potentially from Tian Lang, though True Whale's putting a suspicious amount of thought into this, making me think maybe he's just thinking of a defense break and he is rewarded with strips. 
Yeah, he did get the strips though, but no extra value there. Defense break is going to be landing on top of the Tian Lang, and Tian Lang's going to be in a little bit of trouble when this Dominic's able to take a turn here. He has got to sleep the team. If he doesn't sleep this Dominic, I think Tian Lang's going to be devastated. Oh yeah, that Tian's, Tian Lang's life is definitely flashing before his eyes before that Praha's third skill went off. Nice proc to bring that third skill back online a little, a little earlier there. It's a good proc, but that's going to increase the proc chance for FH as well. So let's see if Dominic takes advantage of that and does not take advantage of that. I think that's a little sigh of relief from Truewell. I think he was uh, saying that to himself. Please don't proc, because it didn't proc here. But Gyo, looking to get a little bit of value. We have strip on that first skill. Can defense break as well. He does get the strip. A little bit of damage coming towards Tian Lang. But of course, Tassarin's got something to say about what uh, Nana can produce here. Oh yeah, Tessa deciding to go on the Nana there. There was a little bit of a decision to make between the Dominic and the Nana. It's like, do you want to make sure, are you confident in your ability to kill the Dominic before the Nana stone goes off? So it looks like he opted to oblivion the Nana to try to expedite killing the Dom, but that means Dom gets a turn. Dom still gonna get a turn here and that orb is up here and does finish off that Tassarin. Tassarin oh. is gonna be dropping here. Additional turns gonna be coming out here. Almost two units are gonna be dropping out here. He has to try and get rid of that Dominic as soon as possible with the orb uh, orbs being blocked by the Oblivion that is still on Nana. Let's see if he does choose to go after that Dominic. But I feel like that's gotta be the pick here. Doesn't go after the Dominic. Ah. Interesting. I didn't say it. I didn't want the caster's curse to come about, but I think it might've been a tiny bit greedy to go for the Nana there instead of the Dom uh, for the Ooh. Oblivion target that is. There's the Despair Gyo coming through on top of that Praha as well. A little bit of poke damage coming towards the Tian Lang. See if any more Despair Sun is going to be coming out there. That is not another orb because we do have the Oblivion that was still on top of the Nana here. But definitely putting True Will against the wall here on this one. If he can kill the Nana with this skill one, proc, do it again. Let's see. No such luck. There was a, there is a line there to victory, but it was a thin one. <laughs> yeah, double crit as well. FH taking round two away from True Will. A little bit of back and forth here. Yeah, absolutely. They are both showing us why they deserve to be here in the finals. And I really do like that play style. We spent enough time talking about how I like the aggressives play, but choosing to put the Oblivion on the Nana instead of that Dominic ended up being a little bit too greedy and I think it came back to bite him because if you're able to deny Dominic that additional true damage on his passive just for one turn I think it would have saved him in the long run yep and if Captain Hindsight was here right now I think he'd say the exact same thing because we didn't get any additional turns coming out of that Dominic either so if Dominic did have the Oblivion on him it definitely would have held back a lot of damage coming out of FH here exactly yeah so it's it's one of those calls where I think Man, in the moment, Truewell says, I just got to go for it. Let's just see if I can take this opportunity that I'm seeing in my head and just make it a reality. Sometimes you're rewarded and sometimes you get this result. But that's okay because we've we've let you guys know this is a best of five now. So these things are expected and it's just going to make a better match for us. Yep, let's see what happens. Pre-bans from last time. Ragdoll and Shizuka now available. Definitely expecting FA to try and draft the Shizuka uh, uh, as we go into this next match. I don't know. I just kind of have a feeling about it. But we'll have new free bans getting locked in here. I think it's going to be something similar to the very first match that Veronica and the uh, uh, Veronica Nikki. Hmm. Nikki's new to the pre-ban scene, but Veronica we expected to see uh, clearly being just a just a threat that follows us across rounds there, Stud. Yeah, this Nikki's super interesting. I, I, like, I have a feeling that this Nikki is something that FH felt was coming from True Will. You know, just to keep things uh, uh, fresh, I feel like he knows True Will for changing things up, and Nikki's one of those uh, uh, routes that True Will likes to change up. So uh, maybe that could have been a prediction pick. Maybe it could have been a bad ban. Could have been a lot of things, but let's see what happens here. Oliver's going to be the first pick coming out of FH. True Will rethinking his first picks here, and Shizuka Masha rethinking his first picks once again he's running out of time does go with a shizuka tian leg huh <laughs> an intro it's a very funny amount of transparency that we just saw from true whale as he as he walked us through his thought process live in the pick band phase i, I like that I like that look um i think i'm gonna miss the masha in this case masha is a counter to oliver has just proven herself time and time again she's she's there for a reason Yep, it is, and with Masha on the side of True Will, uh, Masha and Narsha sometimes come out for him, so let's see what happens. But Miles and Pra are going to get locked in, Pra being a very, very good unit for True Will. He utilizes that unit a whole lot here. FH has been really utilizing a ton of that Miles as well. Looks like True Will going on the aggressive side, busting out the Dominic now. 
I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Narsha taking up that fifth slot either from True Whale. I mean, I think it was good, actually. I think we've seen True Whale remembering that his opponent has been bringing the Miles, bringing the Praha, so it's like there's a lot of water prevalence. Maybe it's like, maybe it's time to bench the Masha for a game and bring something a little bit with, uh, with element advantage. Yeah, FH really has to change the pace here. He doesn't have that Veronica, but I think he's got to do something that True Will's not ready for. So curious to see what FH has in mind. And he is going to be changing the pace here. We've got a Mo Long and we've got a Woosa being drafted. That's a lot of water, though. He's got to be a little careful with that. And it looks like he's going to go with the Juno. I don't know if Juno's the best pick here, because I still think True Will's going to be going with the Narsha here to bring just more volatility to the draft. And he's going to change the pace as well. A Leo was not expecting a Leo draft coming out of True Will. Here. So he wants to bring bring the Leo to threaten turn one, make FH have to do a little decision making. Am I comfortable bringing the Juno and the Oliver and the Praha into a Tion Lang, or do I want first turn? Yeah, this is this is quite interesting. Uh, I couldn't tell you really what's going to get banned out here because I feel like it's a potential Praha just remove the sustain from this field. But Praha is going to be bringing a lot of attack bar for the TM Lang. TM Lang might actually just be the ban on True Will's side of the field, but we'll see what happens here because that's a lot of attack bar gain. Uh, um, for a True Will here. It looks like Shizuka's gonna get the knife, and the Woos is gonna get the knife due to the lack of strip that True Will has on the side of the field, so it definitely makes sense here. Hmm. Okay, so we'll have to see if this ban, if this train of thought pays off for FH in the long term as well as True Will there. Banning the Shizuka. Oliver made it through, though, so he had the reset available. Let's see what happens. FH uh, brought us a really good game last time. Here comes Leo, obviously with the turn one, can get some damage in on whoever, throw off attack bar for Miles. Maybe not, just damage it is. We'll see what the second skill has uh, uh, for Tian Lang, if he's gonna get any value here. Does get a little bit of value and a stun on top of that, uh, the Miles does get a stun on top of the Juno, which will get cleansed up here. Got that third skill happening, sleeping everybody on the side of True Will, but the additional turns are gonna be rolling out with this Dominic here. Yeah, often to use the third skill instead just to try to get some turn cycling in without giving Tian Lang attack bar, which is going to continue to be an issue for FH for a little while here. That was a quite interesting decision coming out of True Will, waking up the Pra to try to land that uh, um, uh, that branding. branding effect. Didn't get the branding, but did get a lot of damage on top of the Pra. It looks like that's definitely a unit that True Will doesn't want to have to deal with the sustain uh, that FH has. Look at that attack bar just creeping up on Tian Lang there, Stoic. He's gained so much just, just sitting there, accumulating value. I love monsters like that. Big stun coming from the Miles. Right when FH needed it to deny Tian Lang that turn. That's exactly what he needed to get. He needed that stun on the Tian Lang. Tian Lang was going to land that defense break on top of Prowl. Probably not finishing it off with the Leo there. With the defense break sitting on top of Prowl. Probably would have been enough. Definitely, yeah, the Leo would have, having Torrent available, maybe Dominic a little later to finish it off. This was huge and early kill from Two Whales, setting FH to a three to four monster deficit here. Yeah, didn't need that defense break after all. Leo provided enough damage here. And we're going to see Oliver. He's going to be shaking this defense break off with that third skill, almost filling up his attack bar here. Tian Lang's going to try and cut in here. I think he wants to capitalize on the Oliver, reapply that defense break so it doesn't get shaken off after the uh, uh, the attack bar goes down. Does go with second skill. Gets a little bit of damage out onto the field, but I feel like I would have went with the skill uh, one to reapply defense break to Oliver here. Oh, yeah, geez, any, not gonna anything matter. at this point, at this point, the writing's on the wall, and I think FH knew it. True Whale knew it. I think he was just he was fishing for a little something else there. Man, I got to tell you, Stoic, even in the pick ban phase, Shizuka was not necessarily on my radar for a ban. No, I don't think so as well, but Shizuka is just a super volatile unit, man. It just brings way too much to the table. Just one, like you, we said it already, one proc from Shizuka is game changing, man. It really does. It feels very, very game changing. Uh, but great play once again coming out of Trua looking super salt. Very, very comfortable for him. Yeah, I think that's a great word to use for it, is comfortable. He seems more relaxed, you know, this is like, he's keeping a great pace for his decisions, he's not rushing anything. Uh, now, FH is gonna have to make something happen here, because all of a sudden, True Whale's sitting pretty with two points out of a out of a required three to walk away with the title of Legend. So, the pressure is on right now. You said in that pick fan phase that FH is gonna have to bring something a little bit surprising, and he kind of teased it with that snipe set up with the Molong, but now's the time he's gonna have to lock it in. 
Yeah, I think so. You know, as much as I'd love to see uh, uh, True Will obviously get a big victory here for uh, uh, for stateside, but I, I do want to see some great gameplay out of both these players here. So I think if FH really wants to take a victory away from True Will here and go into a game five, I think he's got to bring something that, that True Will's not ready for here. I bring this up on all of these tournaments here. If you're able to predict, prediction, uh, predicting a draft is, is what really... Uh, gains these victories inside Summer War. When you know what's coming, knowing is, is half the battle here. And I think FH has to uh, stop True Will in his tracks here. We'll try to change things up here because right now True Will's very, very comfortable. But when you start getting a little, I, I, I want to use the word strange, is really what can help you gain the edge on someone. Because when you're making someone think a little bit too much, sometimes that's the best thing that you could do to uh, your opponent here. But True Will, locking in an Oliver. That's a, obviously a very good pick to lock in first. It's a consistent trade-off we've been seeing over the course of this whole tournament, fighting for that Oliver, even post-nerf. Uh, like you said at the top of the show, Oliver is still very much the best 33% speed lead in the game compared to, say, Vanessa, Trinity, Gisam. Uh, he just offers so much value in that kit along with the 33, so you still fight for him even after he's been adjusted. FH, quick to answer back with the Masha and the Veronica. Yeah, I, I think this is a very good draft with uh, FH already starting out here. I do like this Masha and I do like this Veronica here. I understand why True Will's already drafting uh, uh, this Juno here. Juno's going to be in result of this Veronica. That's kind of signaling that the Veronica's going through, and I think this is going to work out for FH's favor here. I think he should be drafting accordingly, knowing that his Veronica is going to be going through. But it looks like he, again, might be changing the pace here. He's bringing out an Abelio already predicting that True Will is going to bring some aggressive units on the other side of this non, and he's going to take one of those aggressive units in the form of Dominic. Mm, I, I love Dominic, one of my favorite monsters of all time right now. Uh, a little susceptible to attack bar control from Oliver, though, so we'll have to see if maybe FH is committed to banning that or if he's just got some sort of strategy ahead of us. Maybe he knows the Veronica's making it through, and he's like, I'm just going to reset it. Yeah, there's that Narsha in Dakonimusha. The Dakonimusha was something that FH didn't want to have to play up against, and it's coming out right now. We know this Dakonimusha to be very, very fast, as well as that Narsha as well. That's some volatility on the back end, wrapping up True Will's draft here. Let's see what FH is going to be responding with, and it is going to be that Abelio. Mm -hmm. Abelio and Molly is going to be what he's going to use to try and keep True Will back and keep his team healthy. But I'd say that the, the Dominic and the Masha is going to be uh, uh, tough to get rid of if he goes with all that sustain here. Diana's gonna Diana. be showing face. Was not expected to see a Diana. Yeah, out of all the things, I don't think I could have guessed that the Cavallo, the, the Diana, is making it into this game. Uh, that surprises me, though. Admittedly, I think I do like it a little bit more than the Abelio, or than the Abelio, if we're letting Oliver into the game, because uh, that's another monster that Oliver just likes to to control and make sure that that third skill is unavailable for long periods of time. And it looks like that's exactly what's happening. Yep, True Will is going to be banning out the turn one unit in the form of Veronica. HB leads coming out for FH, trying to stay alive with the speed lead. 33 speed lead coming out for True Will, guys. This could be it if True Will does get this victory, guys. But we'll see what happens. Can FH stay in this match here? Narsha looking to kick things off here, getting big defense break. That's just, it's oh, already fast. looking really good for True Will. That's so much damage coming to the field on top of that, Dominic. Oh, my word. That Narsha was so... Fast. He's setting up for some big damage from that Ongiuki here in just one second. Perfectly speed tuned. Here comes the Nana if she wanted to set it up, but she doesn't want to give Diana the attack bar and put any variables into this. Well, great decision making from True Whale. Let's see it. So much damage, man. Removes that Dominic from the field. Gets another orb right here. True Whale just putting FH to the wall already. It's looking so good for him now. That may have been Legend Tournament winning damage coming out of that Dark Onimusha right there. Yep, exactly. Uh, FH really need to land that defense break on top of that Dark Oni Musha to help them get anything going here. But this Narsha and Dark Oni Musha, uh, they're going to be pumping out some massive damage here. The additional turns are going to be rolling out here. We've got Diana's going to be dropping very, very soon. Looking super good for True Will, man. True Will looking to claim his second legendary tournament victory. Oh, but FH proving that he doesn't want to go down without a fight. He is going to give this Diana every single opportunity to proc out of that transform that she can. He's not leaving until she's gone. Okay, well, let's yeah. see if he's leaving. True Will's not going <laughs> to let it go, though. There's the initial turns, and True Will is this season 23's champion. 